about the MTHFR gene mutation, which scientists and other authorities don't even want to call it a mutation because it is so common. Actually, around 40% of the population has this gene mutation. I have it. Many of my clients have it. It's not uncommon. And what they would rather call it is an SMP or a single nucleotide polymorphism. So basically, it means that there's been a slight change to a gene that changes the way that it functions. But there are so many other factors that play into methylation. So first of all, the MTHFR gene mutation can alter the way that we convert folic acid to folate and methylate B12, vitamin B12. It does not halt the process. It slows it down. So it will, it will alter it, but you will still methylate to some degree you will still convert to some degree. So there's a misunderstanding there. What you can do about it is eat foods rich in folate so that you don't have to do the conversion. Which foods are rich in folate? Animal foods. There are dark leafy greens, but there are a ton of animal foods rich in folate and B12. So when I went carnivore, this was no longer an issue. Um, it's not an issue for my clients who have gone carnivore or even animal based. And so, it's really not anything for you to psych yourself out about or freak out about because it's a really easy fix. Another thing I want to say about methylation is that there are about six other genes involved in methylation. So even if you have this genetic mutation or single nucleotide polymorphism, this slight alter, your methylation is still going to function based on six other genes. So your chances are really good that you're going to be able to methylate. Now, if you really struggle to methylate, fear not, just eat meat, which is abundant in bioavailable folate and vitamin B12. If you know that you have a folate deficiency, two things I would recommend to boost that, which are animal-based or food as medicine, chicken liver. One ounce of chicken livers delivers about 42% of your daily value of folate and lamb chops. Four lamb chops provides about 56% of your daily value of folate. So if you can just make some chicken liver pate, eat some lamb chops, you should be good. Other foods rich in folate, but not as much as those that I just mentioned. Egg yolks, salmon, oysters, beef liver, but not as much as chicken liver, and you'll be good. So I just wanted to break that down for you guys. This is a super brief video, but there's not much more to say about it. If you have the MTHFR gene mutation, first of all, don't live by your, your uh, diagnoses. It's not a label, it's not your identity. And second of all, it's not as dramatic as you might think it is.